I told you about hyperinflation in the past. Giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rukakwadash. I did videos in the past years dealing with the uh, term inflation and hyperinflation. If you go to Google and you put in inflation, it's not going to tell you too much. If you put in hyperinflation, it's not going to tell you too much. You have to know it. You have to understand it. Um, Hyperinflation is when prices go up. Prices go up not because there's a lack of sources or resources or an example, um, prices for lumber or, or wood has gone up dramatically, not because there's a shortage of wood, but because of uh, the uh, U.S. dollars, I'll call them, Federal Reserve notes, are being pumped into the economy, weakening the the dollar. So in turn, you have what what is called inflations when when prices go up, and hyperinflation is when prices go up dramatically. Like for example, if you go to the gas station in the morning. The gas might be at a certain price. Later that day, it could go up five cent, ten cent. Maybe in a couple of weeks, it may go down a couple of cents. But when it constantly, drastically goes up and up and up by the day, you get up in the morning, you put the gas is three three dollars a gallon. Later that night, it might be five fifty a gallon. The next day, it might be six. That's where that's where pan, a panic takes place. Uh, that's and then you and then if you look around, you notice that meat, chicken is going up, beef is going up, beans, wh- whatever, toilet paper. That's hyperinflation. And the American people, for the most part, they don't understand the money system. And most politicians don't understand the money system. You got to read the history of uh, the Weimar Republic uh, in Germany before Hitler came into power. You got to (coughs) read the history of uh, Venezuela. What they're suffering is uh, hyperinflation. Anytime the treasury of a government issues or produces dollars in big numbers, you you will begin to to uh, experience uh, hyperinflation, inflation, and then if it's not check hyperinflation. <clears throat> So, here's a couple of articles right here. I put in hyperinflation and I clicked on news. <clears throat> As you come put this up raw, it says, uh, and remember, we here at Great Millstone, mainly myself, been going into that and how money works. Uh, but you, for, in order for you to understand it, you got to do the research. You know, you got to watch the um, so-called uh, financial experts, mainly on YouTube, guys like... Uh, Peter Schiff and uh, Jim Rogers and um, Mark Faber, if he's still alive, I hadn't seen him in a while. Individuals like that, and there, there are many, many others out there. <clears throat> and they're mostly Edomites, because Jake don't know what the hell's going on. Anyway, it says here. I'm just going to read a couple of articles. And by the way, I'm going to throw a, a, um, a precept at you. The scriptures, the scriptures speak about the love of the money. The love of money is the root of all evil. The scriptures also say money is a defense. So you need money. 
but what you do is you utilize money like you do utilize anything else when you're hungry you got food and you eat eat the food you cook the food and you eat the food you're thirsty you drink water you got money you spend money you lend money out or you give money away if you are fortunate to have a lot of money and you know that a friend or even a family member is in a bind and money can get them out of that bind, you give them that money. Whether you lend it to them or you just give it to them. There's certain people out there you know you give them, lend them money, they ain't never going to give you the money back. So you got to know those people. But you you say, well, I'm going to lend you this, you're giving me back on that day, knowing that they're not going to give it back. So so you, so you in your heart you're giving them money. We all know people like that. <clears throat> anyway, especially family. You know, family, if you lend money to family, don't expect it back. Just say, here, here, I'm just giving it to you. Anyway. Oh, um, now we can get this current system, the, the world global system, mainly focusing on the United States, out of this mess as apply the scriptures. The scriptures speak about the year of release, which is once every seven years, all your debts are taken care of or, or, or disappear. You get a clean slate. And then every seven, seven years, what I mean by that, every 50 years, 49 going into the 50th year is the year of Jubilee. <clears throat> and even economists, have, if you listen to enough of these money experts they'll mention they'll mention the jubilee and this is what see this is why people are going poor becoming homeless um losing their job because they 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 wind up in debt that they can't take care of you the mortgage with with the um the 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 um interest rate whether it go high or low anyway i'm gonna just read a couple of these articles and i'm gonna i'm gonna close it um it says paying up pandemic problems lead to used car price prices um it says uh seeing our prices have inflated to hyperinflation and like i said we're seeing un unprecedented times where the cost of cars is so much it's like having a and you got to click and you read the rest if you like i said if you put in hyperinflation then click on on news and you get these articles i'll read one or two more it says uh this is from forbes and forbes is a magazine that deals with the econ with, with the economy business you got um, a list called the four i think it's called the forbes 500 it says uh, the inflation scare doesn't match reality. The 2021 inflation. It says 2020. The coronavirus. Okay, in the first article we read pandemic, which is the coronavirus, right? It says, and this is all. This 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 all became possible. This inflationary period that we're experiencing due to coronavirus. And you have people rushing to get the shots and what have you. And um not really not realizing that the coronavirus, whether whether real or imagined, is the cause of all this because governments had to act. You know what I, I take on this whole thing. It says uh, 2020, let me read that again, the inflation scare doesn't match reality, the 2021 inflation. And you know what, the, the government, the U.S. government did a great job in dumbing you people down in America. You, you people are basically stupid. You don't know what's going on. Anyway, it says the corona, give me one minute. Yeah, go ahead. 
Yeah. How much is how much how much how much is that? Okay, so it's just the one side, right? Alright, go ahead. No no problem. I need it done. Go ahead. Alright, thanks. Alright. Yeah, that was my mechanic. Anyway, um, uh, it says the inf inflation scare doesn't match reality. The uh, the 2021 inflation, uh, 2020, the coronavirus, the coronavirus economy will bring inflation. National Review, nightmares, plague, hyperinflation got your attention the media two weeks ago. This is from the Quad City Times. Uh, call, uh, <clears throat> column, your gamble with Biden. Inflation or worse hyperinflation we're still in an inflationary period but if it's not checked see this guy Biden he's he's writing checks he's ca he's he's writing checks that he can't what's the old saying that he can't can't cash in in on you know it's that, that's called um uh, in the e economics it's called um uh, what do you call it? Deficit spending. You don't have any money. You got credit cards with high interest rates, and you uh, use a credit card. That's deficit spending. That's that's spending by way of uh, credit. It says, uh, "Let me read this again." Column: Your gamble with Biden, inflation, or worse, hyperinflation. Like I said, if you go to Google, you put in hyperinflation, they're not going to break down what hyperinflation means Price, hyperinflation is is when they as i said in the beginning of the video hyperinflation is when they push dollars in the system and uh and in turn it 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 it, it causes the dollar to weaken and in turn prices go up and hyperinflation Prices go up dramatically. It says after World War One, hyperinflation destroyed the Weimar Republic. So if it destroyed the Weimar Republic for Hitler to come in, what is it going to do to America if they if they uh, if we experience hyperinflation? The same thing. It's going to call cause the downfall of America today. It ravages Venezuela. And I mentioned that in the uh, beginning of the uh, video. Next one. Uh oh, this crap came up. Uh, Ven this is a DW. This is a, uh, a news company out of Germany. Uh, they have YouTube videos. Very good videos. Anyway, it says, this is the last one. It says, um, Venezuela, Venezuelans to try to... Venezuela's, Venezuelans tried to beat hyperinflation with cryptocurrency revolution. And I believe this cryptocurrency thing, the Bitcoin, is nothing but a bubble. So you got to know how to get in and get out. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say, Shalom.